everybody, it is Nadim00 here, and today we are going to be talking about redstone output in the fourth episode of our computer craft series. Uh, should be a good tutorial, hope you guys like it. Uh, might be a little quick though, because I'm not going to put in any major uh, programming, it's just going to be using the LUA prompt to uh, do some different stuff. So, um, go in and uh, load your computer up, notice I have put redstone here. Uh, so this is, if you're looking at the computer, this is output on the right side, output on the left side, output in the back. Then you could put um, redstone up on the top and get an output off the top. Or you can get an output from the bottom, which is uh, some stuff we're not going to cover. But uh, you got your three outputs here. Those are the main ones you're going to use. I mean, you can use the bottom one if you're doing something really complicated, but uh, this tends to be sufficient. So uh, enough talking, let's get to it. Open your computer craft, uh, go into LUA and it'll say interactive LUA prompt. What you can do here is basically run code without actually making an application um, in this. So what you wanna do is type, um, basically you have redstone, you know what, I can actually uh, show you guys something that might help, uh, help redstone like that. Oh, it's not showing up, it was showing up, or anyways, well, I can explain it, so. Like that, and um, anyway, so the way you get output is redstone dot. Well, if you wanted to get input, you do get input like that, and then parameters and whatever. To get like set and output, you do set output like that. And let's change the right one. If we we're typing the left one, it'd be left, or back one, it'd be back um, top bottom like that and so we want to change the right one and we want to set the current to on or off so it's true or false so we want it to be true like that and uh, press it and see how it went on in the bottom right corner see how the redstone is glowing now so if we want to change it back to off like that dot set put out puts there we go right and then set that to false and notice it will turn off so it's pretty cool you can use that to open doors or whatever so what I want to do is um, here and you can turn multiple on so redstone dot set output like that and then uh, I, uh, there we go and you can also turn dot Let me turn the left one on. Like that. And you'll notice the left one on and the right one is on. So both of them are on. You can do a lot of different stuff with that. And if you know like logic gates for redstone, if you watch more videos on the channel, different things, um, you can use that. So it's pretty cool stuff. Um, now, why don't we make a program to open a door? How's that? So edit. You know what? Why don't we even put it on the door of the house? So, like this. And so, like that. Open it up. Uh, we've got to get rid, rid of the pressure plates or we'll be able to get in anyway. So, right here, put a computer on the left side like that. And that, if we use the right, will open and close the door. So, what we want to do is, um, how about edit? Uh, that edit startup and then we'll type um Newton's like that and then print a line actually no we'll print the line down here and then we'll do an infinite while loop which if you guys want to know how to do um more in depth with um you can go and watch our third tutorial on loops and things to make a nuclear access code to a launch area. So while um, while one equals one, that'll create an infinite loop. And while one equals one, do this and make sure you to end it to keep it organized. Um, print and or write rather. 
enter. We gotta do it inside the quotes. Pass. And then we'll go like that. Make sure you got the space. And then input equals read like that. And then we can type. Um, actually, no, no. This while loop, we actually do want it to be set. Can't be infinite because then we're not gonna be able to do it. So uh, let's just save it. True false equals true like that. And then if tf equals true, do that. So um, if input equals I forgot you gotta have the parameters put equals um, if it equals false I mean if it equals whatever we want our password to be so how about we have it um, to how about we set it to comp you comp you pass or comp pass like that. Um, now you guys know the password to my place. If you want to check it, you can go back. So set it to CompuPass. I'm going to end that. And else. So print um, you. Oh, how about we just print access denied? And then print. Granted, and we've got to put the space in there because uh, it's completely necessary. You know, it's aggravating if you don't. Um, space, and then we want to set our variable to false so the loop doesn't repeat. Uh, again, look at the third tutorial if you want to know how to do that. And then we want to set dot set output to true like that. Oh. One sec. So, actually, we want to set our. One sec. We want to set our right, which is where the door is, to true, and then we want to wait some time. So this is how you do that. You type sleep, and then the number of time in seconds. It can be a decimal as well. We're just going to change it to um, two seconds, um, and then we'll write red. So what this will do is it will um, set the output to true, open the door, and then it will set the output to false after this two seconds is open. So save, exit, down, and then open that. Oh, yeah, I forgot, so little error. Very simple to fix. Um, it's just I messed up my if statement here. So if then we gotta do something. Forgot that. Then like that and enter pass. Um, and access granted. Oh, it closed the door a little too fast. Got to do this quick. Um, you can change this value to whatever you want. Two's a little fast sometimes. Um, so why don't we change that to four? Save it, exit. That. Um, comp you, comp, pass, access granted. You walk through the door, and door closes after that amount of time. So, uh, thanks guys for watching, hope you enjoyed, uh, new tutorials are coming up soon, so, uh, stay posted, and, uh, you know, if you need help, uh, just watch these tutorials, so, uh, post your comments down below, like, favorite, share, whatever you want to do, and, uh, see you next time, guys, bye.